Alright, so today we're going to be unboxing... Oh, crap. So today we're going to be unboxing the Blue Studio Mega 2018. So this is pretty much my first phone. I decided to go with a lower price phone and just for the first phone so that I could see what it's kind of like. And then I also got this case a couple days ago. So yeah, so we're just going to get started with this. So this is it. So this is the phone right here. It's pretty heavy, like an average phone. Um, and then sticker, I don't know what that is. It comes with this clear protector, very nice. But of course I already have this um, case, so I mean, I guess I'll save this anyways. So we have that and then it comes with a power brick. So yeah, we have this power brick right here, and then cable right here, USB, and I'm pretty sure it's micro USB, so here's, yeah, micro USB, so yeah, and then we're probably going to have to charge this, so I'll have to plug that in, and then we have a whole bunch of other paperwork, so, and more paperwork stuff. SIM tool. I don't know what that is. And um, here's a screen protector. So this is a, I think this is a glass screen protector. This I'm gonna put apply first onto the phone. But before we even open the screen protector, let's take a look at the phone itself, maybe. So I'll just move all of this out of the way. Okay. So we have the screen protector and the phone. So right here, I'm just going to take it out. I don't want to get any, oh, it, it, there's protection over it. Okay. So this is it. Um, so there isn't a notch on it, but there is a notch version of it, but the camera's right here and stuff. It has a little bit of a bezel. So yeah, this is it. It looks like an iPhone X on the back and it looks like a Samsung Galaxy 8 on the front. So yeah, they said they have curved glass on the front, which I can see it. I'll try to bring it up. Curved glass that goes around the screen. Focus. I don't know if it's going to focus. But yeah. Anyways, so... You'll put it by the microphone and so you guys can hear it and listen. Okay, so it looks like there's a pre-installed screen protector on it. That's actually nice. So this is my case. I guess I'll put this in here now. Oh wait, I forgot. So there's this, on the back, there's this solid piece of plastic. And then this is rubber, so that it goes in easier like this. Like that. So now it's in here, and then I can plop this over the uh, edge. I think that's it. Oh, it turned on. Didn't mean to do that. So yeah, there's a fingerprint scanner on the back. I gotta make sure this is on. I think I think we're good. Yeah, it's all snapped on. I don't even know what's happening. Alright guys, Manfredator's helping me right now. Because he, he, he got the same phone. Go check it out on his channel. Yeah, this is his. Oh right, yeah, it's good. No, right. I didn't do this. I'll see ya. Alright, so this is it. Alright, so... And the Manfredator also told me this is in glass. So I'm gonna have to put this on. Without touching the screen. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Yeah, this is this, this is plastic right here by the way. This piece, there's like a little thing. You'll see. Alright, alright, there we go. Yeah. Just a simple screen protector. I think it's the same one I already had. Okay. So I don't wanna put fingerprints on the actual screen. So we're gonna install this so that I don't get fingerprints on the screen already. So this is the screen protector right here. All right, let's see what's in here. I'll just pull it out. Okay, that's definitely glass. I just don't want to ruin it. Okay, glass. I think there's cleaning stuff in here so I can wipe the screen. I'm, I'll still do it just in case. Yeah, okay. 
Alright, so let's put this screen protector on. This is definitely glass. I can feel it. Let's not break it. Yeah, 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 you can see it. Okay, so this is the screen protector right here. There we go. Look at that. It's glass. Okay, so this is the back side, it says. So this sticker right. Oh, yeah, look. Ooh. Okay. So now we have this thing of glass. So I'm just going to lay it right here. Is this glass? Yeah, that is glass. Okay. Now I need to put this wipe. So this is number one. This is a... It's a wet wipe. So I'm supposed to clean the screen off with this. Get all the fingerprints that I don't have on it off. And then when I'm done with that, I'll just make sure I give it a nice good rub. When I'm done with that, go to number two, just dry microfiber cloth. Just dry it off. Okay. Now, now I need to place this in front of it. Line everything up. It's not gonna fit the whole screen. Like it go, it only goes to the curved part of the screen. So each side's gonna have a tiny bit of screen exposed. That's good. Just like that. I see the bubbles. Oh no, there's a bubble. I'll push it to the edge. All right, I think I got the bubbles. And then you just have to press on the edges so that the bubbles on there's tiny bubbles on the sides in the front and down here there's some bubbling and yeah there's my screen protector on all right so then we still have this back side right here which i don't know how to take this off There we go, look at that. All right. All right, let's start setting this up. Hi there, English. All right, start. Connect to mobile network. Copy and paste. Start up new fresh. Connect to Wi-Fi. Be all of it. I accept and continue. So now it's just setting it up. Okay, so yeah, this is Eastern time. So today is March 27th. 27th, okay. Time, it's 4.34. Even though I'm only waiting. There, done. Next. My name is Unlock my fingerprint. All right, so we're gonna, the fingerprint's on the back. All right, so that I put my password in. That, there we go. So it's just telling me to touch the sensor in the back. So let me make sure I got that. So I'll just keep doing this. Here's my thing, control. Um, done. Done for now. Adding finishing touches. All right, here we go. So this is it. So this is it, this is Android. Um, 8.1 Oreo. Um, let's put it back in my case now, because I think that's fine to do. All right, yeah, okay. back on and there we go now I have my case this is it let's try 
just watching a YouTube video. Let me just look at my YouTube channel. Here we go. So here's my YouTube channel. We're gonna listen to the audio on this. So we'll just go to my video with music in it, I guess, my Fortnite video. So it is very loud for what it is, so I'm glad about that. Um, also, it looks very good, and so since the screen, since the screen's bigger than this video is, you can zoom in and make it fit. So then I can use the whole screen and you can see it. So, um, what else? So the speakers are on the bottom instead of, instead of having, it has two speakers on the bottom instead of one on each side. And then the charging port's on top, which is cool because you could put it on a desktop like this and like while you're playing and it could charge from the top instead of from coming around the desk. And then the headphone jack is also up here. So it has an eight megapixel camera on the front and a 12, no, a 13 megapixel camera on the back with a depth sensor of a two megapixel camera. So um, let's just, let me close this clear. So we'll try the camera out, I guess. All right, so here's the camera. I'll just take a picture of my setup right here. So let me take a picture, I'll put it on the screen. So there's the picture you probably be able to see on the screen. Um, that's the back camera. So it looks pretty good from here. Can I zoom? I can. The quality looks pretty good. I mean, obviously it's a lower price phone, but you can zoom pretty well and it will still look good. And then I'll do a selfie here with my setup. So let me turn the camera around. So again, it, it looks pretty good. You can tell it's a little bit worse, but again, like it looks pretty good. So yeah. I guess I'll update you guys in the future if anything happens, but for now, that's my review. So this is two days later with me having the phone, and I after editing this, I realized I left out a lot of stuff that you might want to know. So first of all, when with the fingerprint scanner, when the phone's off, you can just put your fingerprint on the back and then it opens it automatically. And so this button right here is a power save button. So when I click it, you can either go into power save mode, which will like pretty much won't let you go into any apps that use a lot of battery. And then right here you get two spaces to put whatever apps you want in the power save mode so I just put like Skype for contacting and a camera just in case and then you can go out of power saving mode and then if you click the button again you can press accelerate and it will close like background programs that aren't actually needed so then it just gave me 2.6 megabytes of memory so it's pretty cool if you get this case the um, volume buttons they they click when you press them and so does the power save button but I don't know if it's just something I got messed up, but this um, button doesn't press. It's, just, it's kind of like, it's based off of how hard you push. If you push hard and hold it, it will take a screenshot. If you hold it lightly, it will do power off and give you all the options for rebooting and stuff. 
but then if you just like give it a right like almost the amount of force you do to turn it off you just like push it it turns off but the button physically doesn't like go up and down so that was just like a note so don't accidentally break the phone because the button's not pushing it's meant to do that one more thing to mention so i said in the video that there were speaker holes right here there's two so there's two speakers right here and then when you call there's a tiny little speaker right here for when you call so when you put it up to your ear you will hear out of that speaker which is also cool so yeah that's pretty much it so that is my review on the blue studio mega 2018 so i would definitely recommend that you get this if you're looking for a lower price phone so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video